In the previous week's session, we recapped the primary material to make concrete very crisply. Now we start with concrete mix design. To start, can you tell while proportioning ingredients of concrete, what factors are considered? Before answering, let us know clearly that the proportioning of ingredients means determining relative amounts of ingredients to get the required strength of concrete. The compressive strength of concrete is an index of the quality of concrete. An increase in the compressive strength increases most of its properties. Different strength of concrete can be achieved by using different proportions of ingredients of concrete. While deciding the proportion of ingredients for the required strength of concrete, the following points shall be considered. Number one, it should be durable against different weathering conditions like moisture changes, atmospheric gases, temperature changes, etc. It should be able to resist the wear safely and should not disintegrate. Second point, it should be workable, that is, it should be possible to get it easily mixed, placed and compacted to obtain dense concrete. Third point, it should be economical. The economy is essential concerning cement as this is the costliest ingredient of concrete. A variety of concrete mixes can be prepared to obtain a specified compressive strength. The economical alternative is one that requires the minimum possible cement for a given concrete strength. Clause 9, page 22 of IS 456 2000 provides guidance on concrete mix proportioning. As per code, the determination of the proportion of cement, aggregates and water to attain the required strengths shall be made either number one by designing the concrete mix. Such concrete shall be called design mix concrete or secondly by adopting nominal concrete mix, such concrete shall be called nominal mix concrete. Design mix concrete is preferred to nominal mix. Nominal mix may be used for M20 or lower grade concrete. However, this mix is likely to involve a higher cement content. Design mix. It is a performance based mix where choice of ingredients and proportioning are left to the designer to be decided. The user has to specify only the requirements of concrete in fresh as well as hardened state. The requirements in fresh concrete is in general workability whereas in hardened concrete these are mainly the compressive strength and durability. Nominal mix. It is used for relatively unimportant and simpler concrete works. In this type of mix, all the ingredients are prescribed and their proportions are specified. Therefore, there is no scope for any deviation by the designer. In simple term for nominal concrete mixes, cement is to sand is to aggregate ratio is fixed. Nominal mix concrete may be used for concrete of M20 or lower grade. Table number 9, page number 23. IS 456-2000 provides the proportions for nominal mix concrete. The nominal mix which was used earlier for ordinary concrete is not recommended in IS 456-2000. For example, in M20 grade concrete, the nominal mix which you have come across is 1 is to 1.5 is to 3. But as per table 9, the proportion depends upon size of fine aggregate and coarse aggregate. For example, in case of fine aggregate conforming to zone 2 as per IS383 with coarse aggregate maximum size as 20 mm, the ratio of fine aggregate to coarse aggregate shall be 1 is to 2. Now, as per table, for every 50 kg of cement, the sum of coarse aggregate plus fine aggregate should be 250 kg. That is, Fine aggregate will be 83.33 kg, 
and coarse aggregate will be 166.67 kg. So the nominal mixed proportion defined as 1 is to 1.67 is to 3.33. That is one part cement, 1.67 part fine aggregate, 3.33 as coarse aggregate. The maximum water cement ratio used can be 0.6. Now, concrete mix design for medium strength concrete will be discussed. Most of the available mix design methods are based on empirical relationships, charts and graphs developed from extensive experimental investigations. The requirements of the concrete mix are usually dictated by the general experience with regard to the structural design conditions durability and conditions of placing. Some of the commonly used mix design methods for medium strength concrete are trial and adjustment method of mix design, British DOE mix design method, ACI mix design method, concrete mix proportioning as per IS guidelines, that is Indian standard guidelines, and rapid method for mix design. These are few of the mix design methods. Let us now discuss the general step to step procedure usually followed for proportioning of concrete mixes. Step 1 Required material information. This is determined by conducting the tests on materials. The tests for relevant material properties are the sieve analysis of both pipe and post aggregates, determination of unit weight, specific gravities, and absorption capacities of aggregates. Step 2. Choice of walkability. The degree of walkability in terms of slump, compacting factor, or VB time is selected as per job requirements. However, if it is not specified, an appropriate value of walkability in terms of slump, compacting factor or VB time as per specification is selected as recommended by the code. As a general rule, the lower slump that will permit adequate placement, compaction and finishing should be selected. Step 3. Estimation of mixing water and air content. An estimation of the amount of water required for normal concrete and air entrained concrete can be obtained from the code provisions. In the colder region, routinely air entrained admixtures are used to make the concrete frost resistant. Step 4 Water Cement Ratio. Water cement ratio component is governed by target strength and durability requirements. For the estimated mean target strength, water cement ratio is selected from the curves or tables provided by the relevant code. In case of non-availability of strength versus water cement ratio data for a certain material, a conservative estimate can be made for the accepted 28-day compressive strength. Based on durability requirement, the water cement ratio is selected. Water cement ratio corresponding to minimum of both requirements is adopted. Step 5. Calculation of cement content. Once the water content and the water cement ratio are determined, the amount of cement per unit volume of the concrete is found by dividing the estimated water content by the water cement ratio. The cement content so calculated is checked against the minimum cement required from durability considerations and to ensure good finishability and workability. Step 6. Estimation of coarse or fine aggregate content. The percentage of coarse or fine aggregate in concrete or total aggregate is determined from the characteristics of coarse and fine aggregates 
as recommended in the relevant code. When the percentage of one aggregate is determined, the other may be established by the mass method and the volume method. The volume method is generally preferred as it is somewhat more exact procedure. When percentage of coarse aggregate is known, the volume of fine aggregates is determined by subtracting the volume of cement, water, air and coarse aggregate from the total concrete volume. Step 7. Adjustment for moisture in the aggregate. Suitable adjustment in the water content for the concrete is made to account for the moisture content of the aggregate. Step 8. First trial batch. Using the proportions developed in the preceding steps, trial batch of concrete is mixed using only as much water as is needed to reach the desired slump but not exceeding the permissible water cement ratio. The fresh concrete should be tested for slump, unit weight, air content, its tendencies to segregate, bleed and finishing characteristics. Also, hardened concrete samples for compressive and flexural strengths are cast as per standard codal procedures. After the required period of curing, the specimens are tested in wet condition for the compressive and flexural strength of the mix. Step 9. Trial Batches The trial batches obtained by making suitable adjustments in water cement ratio or aggregate cement ratio or in proportions of cement, sand and aggregate are tested till the final mix composition is arrived. The final step, step number 10. The final proportions are expressed either on mass or volume basis.